Introducing Stake, the go-to tool for validating and delegating on the Avalanche network. Experience the most seamless way to stake, delegate, and perform cross-chain transfers between the X, P, and C chains. With Core Web, you can stake directly to your validator or delegate your AVAX with absolute control over the configurations like the stake amount, staking duration, and delegation fees. For this tutorial, we're going to delegate AVAX using Core Stake. You'll need to make sure that you have the core extension downloaded and that you've created a wallet before this. For this example, I'm going to switch to testnet where we will delegate Fuji Avox. From the settings menu, I'm going to turn on testnet mode and approve that. Core stake enables you to delegate without the need to operate your own validator node. So instead you can delegate your tokens to a validator and receive the rewards for staking and locking your tokens minus a fee retained by the validator called a delegation fee. We do recommend that you conduct your own research before delegating. Quick get started. So here you can choose the amount to delegate to your chosen validator. Each network will require a specific token and a minimum amount of that token to delegate. If you don't have enough tokens, you can use the options below to get more. Out of the options to acquire AVAX, you can transfer AVAX, swap for AVAX, or use the testnet faucet. Since I'm on the testnet mode that I've already acquired some Fuji AVAX, so what I am going to do is I'm gonna transfer some more of that Fuji AVAX from the C chain to the P chain. For this example, I'm gonna transfer 10 Fuji AVAX, which I've inputted here. It will give you a minimum export fee, an import fee, and a minimum total. I'm gonna confirm this transfer, which will open up a window in the core extension and click approve. This has officially moved the AVAX from the C chain to the P chain on testnet for me. So I'm gonna do just under 22 Fuji AVAX. Once I click next, I can choose my staking duration from this dropdown. You can select how long your tokens will be delegated. The staking duration for your delegation cannot exceed the limits of your chosen validator. So generally, the longer the staking duration, the more rewards you'll receive. Stake tokens will be inaccessible or locked for the selected period. Once you select the staking duration, you can't change it later. So be sure to double check before you submit. If you want more information, you can click up here to learn more. As a default, it will be on a minimum of one day. You can see the percentage of estimated rewards to the right. From the dropdown, I'm gonna select a longer duration. So I'm gonna switch it to one month, which obviously will change this estimated percent of rewards over here. I'm gonna click next, and then I can select a node to delegate to. So here you'll see the node IDs. You'll see how many AVAX is available that the validator can accept for delegation. You'll see if there's any current delegators, when the end time is, and the estimated fee. So I'm going to select this top one right here and then click next. You can then choose the rewards address. So once the staking duration is complete, the percentage of rewards that was highlighted before, you can either have it go to your wallet directly or you can choose a custom address. I'm gonna leave it as the default address here because I'd like the rewards to go back there and click next. Then you'll get a summary. So you can review these details carefully. Once you submit your transaction, the parameters you've configured cannot be changed or undone. So here's the summary, how long it will be, what network you're on, and the total amount that you've staked. Here's the node ID you're staking to, the rewards address where the percentage of rewards will go to when the staking duration is complete, validator information all here, and then delegation rewards. So I'm going to submit the delegation, approve this in the core extension, and now the delegation transaction has been submitted. So if the transaction is accepted, your tokens will be locked up for staking. You'll receive your locked tokens plus the rewards once the staking period is over, and then you have a transaction hash. You can view this on the Explorer if you'd like. This will open it up here where you can see all of those details I just mentioned as well as a duration graph that will show you more information about your staking period. If I go back to my portfolio and I choose the activity tab in Core Web, I can see that I have added as a delegator in my transaction activity. And then you can always easily view this transaction again on the Explorer from there which will show you more information about that transaction. For any additional questions about how to delegate using Core Stake, please reach out to support.avox.network and an AvaLabs team member would be happy to assist you.